is Matthew Movies coming at you with my review of The Naked Gun from The Files of the Police Squad, a movie that I absolutely love that came out in 1988. And personally, it's my all-time favorite spoof, bar none. I know that there are some pretty great spoofs out there that other people might put ahead of this one, like Young Frankenstein or Airplane or, or several others. But for me, The Naked Gun is wall-to-wall -wall hilarity and the one that will just absolutely kill me to this day. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate that they have a um, sort of guy in there these days but I think this movie just absolutely is firing on all engines and just is such a good good time it is so so hilarious starring the incomparable Leslie Nielsen the film basically is like a cop film with a romance story that plays on a lot of the, the whodunits and the caper films from times past but it really has a ton of fun with it Leslie Nielsen is just absolutely amazingly funny I mean there's a reason why he's seen as a comic legend today because to me he's just one of the funniest dudes on screen i hated the fact that so many of his, his films that came right at the end of his career in my personal opinion absolutely sucked i just wish this, these movies could stand as his only well not only but his, his biggest contribution to film history because i just think that they're absolutely hysterical i love how he plays the character with such like dryness like he's not playing the character in any kind of fashion where it's like he's in on the joke he he seems like a super super serious dude who does and says ridiculous things and even when he's doing these peculiar and just undeniably ridiculous things you, he plays it like as if his character thinks he's just completely uh, the only one who's really the smart guy in the room he's the guy who's got it all figured out where of course we know that not so much Priscilla Presley is also a major part of this movie and I think is a major a major part of this franchise and I think it, it's, her part is very very integral to the success of this film because again she plays the character very very seriously but she's her character is not in on the joke the actress is and she plays it to the nines I mean she completely commits to this character she does just a, an amazing job and I feel like does not get nearly enough credit for her ability to play this part throughout all three films I mean just the fact that she doesn't break up laughing in every single moment is impressive in and of itself but the way in which she plays the character and, and it gives Frank kind of a character to play off but also does a lot of really really funny things herself I mean this is not a movie where she's just you know the romantic interest who is bland or whatever and is there for uh, the jumping off point of, of the, ma the male lead she is a 100% there. She is integral to the story. She is hilarious at moments. I think that's awesome. You have Ricardo Montalban is playing the villain in this movie, which is hilarious. I think it is hysterical the way that he plays this. I mean, he is absolutely chewing the scenery. Bad guy, you know. You can see him twisting his mustache. He he goes to the he goes to the nines with it. He, you know, he doesn't hold back whatsoever, and he's he's really really funny in it. And I think also a major reason why this movie works. Then you have O.J. Simpson and. <sighs> OJ, OJ, OJ. I mean, I remember when when I heard about the whole OJ thing, I, I was young enough, I'm old enough now, sorry, that I was uh, maybe 12 or 13 or something like that where the whole OJ thing happened. And I know a lot of people always thought of him as the football player for a good reason. I mean, that is really his main accomplishment. But for me, I never watched him play football. So I was like, oh no, what does that mean for the <laughs> gun? And I think he's hysterical in these movies. I mean, it, it really does speak to the fact that the guy had a ton of charisma, which is why there was such a cult of personality around him for very good I mean he's a very entertaining dude and you know yeah I need yeah you have George Kennedy in this, who's, who's basically uh, Frank Drebin's second-hand man, the the other cop that he always kind of goes to, and he, 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 again, is just, he's a great sounding board. He definitely has a few moments where he, he's going for the last that are pretty hysterical, and he does a great job in this movie, but really, he's there kind of as, like, a character for Frank to play off of, and, and one of the scenes I feel like doesn't get nearly enough discussion is there's a moment where they're doing, they're playing off of the whole James Bond thing, where they have a character that's supposed to be like their equivalent of Q or I think that's the character's name. I'm not a big Bond guy. Who uh, you know is the guy with all the gadgets and they have this kind of this weasley little guy and he's showing them all all these these gadgets. I think is awesome. Like there's um, there's the anti car theft device where it's basically like an arm that comes out and grabs the guy by the by the balls really and and squeezes him and that's the whole. Thing. And it's just really really funny. But to me, 
when I think of this movie, if you are a fan of this movie, I think, to me, the moment that will probably jump out for a lot of people, it's the funniest moment, because there's this scene where he's down by the docks, and he's negotiating with the guy to try to get information from him, and he starts bribing him, and then the guy's like, well, why do you want to know? And Frank's like, oh, I'm not going to tell you, then that guy starts bribing him back, and he's going back, oh, man, that just absolutely kills me every time, absolutely hysterical. I love, love, love this movie, if you couldn't tell, I think it's just so much fun. If you're a fan of it, let me know in the comment section below if you've never seen it, if you hate it, whatever. Other than that, please hit that like button, hit that share button. It'll let me know, other people know that this video is out there and hopefully they'll come and check it out because I love, love, love talking films with people. And speaking of which, if you're new here or you just haven't done it yet, please hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. It'll let you know that I put out a new video and you come, let me know what you think, which is something I would absolutely love for the aforementioned reasons. Other than that, have yourself a good day.